starting in 5 seconds indian lives very largely in villages although during recent times the urban population has been increasing very rapidly about 80% of our people still live in the villages anything done to bring about on all round improvement of the villages and those who inhabit them should not only be welcomed but given all possible encouragement by the state and the people at large mahatma gandhi therefore attached the greatest importance to the welfare of villages it is a happy idea to inaugurate the community development program on his birthday the terms community development and community project may be new but the concept is very old basically this concept means many sites development of villages as distinguished from development relating to particular aspects experience in the working of the grow more food programs as well as the programs undertaken by various state governments and private agencies functioning in the sphere of village uplift has established that all aspects of rural life are interrelated and that no lasting results can be achieved if individual aspects of it are dealt with in isolation this does not mean that particular problems should not be given prominence but the plans for them should form part of and be integrated with those for achieving the wider aims this can be achieved only if the energies of the administrative machinery of the states and the best unofficial leadership and enthusiasm of the masses are all enlisted in its favor and concerted action is taken for the all round improvement of agriculture education health sanitation welfare of cattle provision of employment etc etc under the inspiration given by gandhi ji a large amount of selfless work has been done by his followers in various parts of the country and other organizations and individuals have also done considerable work in that direction the resources however both in money and technical personnel available to these have been limited and the progress consequently has not been as rapid or extensive as one would have wished the indo united states technical cooperation agreement of january 1952 has i am happy to say opened up new possibilities of advance along these lines i have always believed that the indian peasant is no novice in agriculture and has practical experience which goes back to many generations the bihar peasant has taken to the cultivation of new varieties of 
शुगर केन द मोस्ट सीरियस प्रॉब्लम फेसिंग द कंट्री टूडे इज द वन रिलेटिंग टू इनसफिशियंट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फूड इन द कंट्री इवन बिफोर द लास्ट ग्रेट वॉ इंडिया हैड बीन इम्पोर्टिंग अबाउट टू मिलियन टन्स ऑफ राइस एवरी ईयर फ्रॉम बुरमा द डेफिसिट हैज इंक्रीज एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ पार्टीशन इन कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ विच द सरप्लस एरियाज ऑफ वेस्ट पंजाब एंड सिंध हैव गोन ओवर टू पाकिस्तान द इंक्रीज इन एनुअल डिमांड फॉर फूड ग्रेन्स ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ इंक्रीज इन पॉपुलेशन हैज ऑल्सो बीन एप्रिशिएबल टू ऑगमेंट इंटरनल सप्लाइज इट हैज बीन नेसेसरी फॉर गवर्नमेंट टू इम्पोर्ट लार्ज क्वान्टिटीज ऑफ फूड ग्रेन्स द इम्पोर्ट्स इन द ईयर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन रीचिंग द फिगर ऑफ फोर्टी सेवन लैख टन्स आवर प्लानिंग कमीशन द गवर्नमेंट एंड ऑल थॉटफुल पीपल हैव बीन एंशियसली कंसिडरिंग वेज एंड मीन्स ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग द फूड प्रोडक्शन फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ क्लोजिंग दिस गैप बिटवीन प्रोडक्शन एंड रिक्वायरमेंट द बिग रिवर वैले प्रोजेक्ट्स सम ऑफ विच आर ऑलरेडी टेकन इन हैंड एंड अदर्स विच आर अंडर कॉन्टेम्पलेशन विल टेक टाइम टू बी कंप्लीटेड एंड आर नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड टू ईल्ड इमीजिएट रिजल्ट फॉर मीटिंग द प्रेजेंट डेफिसिट वी शैल हैव टू रिलाय वेरी लार्जली ऑन द माइनर इरीगेशन प्रोजेक्ट्स सच एज वेल्स टैंक्स एंड ट्यूब वेल्स वाटर अवेलेबल फ्रॉम स्मॉल रिवर्स रिवोलेट्स एंड चैनल्स कैन ऑल्सो बी यूटिलाइज आई एम कन्विंस्ड देर इज अ ग्रेट डील ऑफ स्कॉप फॉर these small projects and i have no doubt that if these are satisfactorily handled we shall be able to close the existing gap in our food supply i am therefore happy to notice that in a community project area covering approximately 300 villages and 1 lakh 50000 acres of cultivable land nearly a third of the expenditure will be on minor irrigation works if these are carried out through cooperative societies and the people living in these areas contribute in labor which absorbs nearly 80 to 90% of the expenditure on these small irrigation projects the amount made available for this purpose will be very much more than would otherwise be the case i am hoping that this voluntary labor will be coming forth in an abundant measure to make these projects not only successful but also more extensive than if they were to be carried out only with the help of the money made available next to water comes manure this may be either chemical or organic or rather a combination of both 
फॉर केमिकल मैन्योर प्रोविजन हैज बीन मेड फॉर वन लैख एट थाउजेंड टन्स ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर इन द एग्रीमेंट विद द टी सी ए दिस विल बी सप्लीमेंटेड बाय सप्लाइज फ्रॉम द आउटपुट ऑफ द सिंदरी फैक्ट्री स्टॉक